Okay, so to continue. What we are doing that from, from that figure, we said that um, F plus DF, if, if we take F of X equal to zero, F plus DF cos of D theta by two in the X direction minus F cos of D theta by two, and um, we'll also have minus f d n equal to zero. And then we said that since cos of d theta by two is, is as d theta by two is a very small angle, therefore it will be equal to one. And we'll have f plus d f minus f minus f from the above equation d n equal to zero, right? So we'll have uh, df equal to f dn. So this will be our square equation one k then Now coming to the <coughs> sum of forces in the y direction, which are um, which are uh, these forces, uh, this one, right? This one and this one. And we already, you know, started writing them uh, that sum of uh, f of y is dn minus f sine d theta by two minus f plus df sine of d theta by two equal to zero, right? No other force. So since we have uh, ds here, so we will have uh, the plus ds equal to zero. Now uh, dn minus f sign of a very small angle is that angle. So F D theta by two is sign of D theta by two is equal to D theta by two. Minus F D theta by two minus D F D theta by two plus D S equal to zero, right? Okay, now, okay. Okay. Um, dn and this is minus f d theta by 2 and minus f. So this will become what? 2 over here and 2 over here. So it will become minus 2 f d uh -huh. f d theta. Yeah, that. And uh, this is a very small term. And again, a very small term. A very small term multiplied by a very small term becomes negligible. So plus ds is equal to zero. Now from this equation or from this equation, you can take the value of dn and put it in the other equation. So <clears throat> this was the, the uh, part where we would uh, do the equations. But if we combine this equation one and two, uh, equations and if we look at these ds we already know what is ds equal to ds can we say ds equal to can we say that uh, it is mv square into d theta centrifugal force and in turn that is going to be the centrifugal force multiplied by d theta so we can find that out. Now, looking at those equations, just abhi humne ye equation to hum, we already derived this equation. Dn is equal to F D theta minus Ds, right? So if we put the values in here, uh, what we are going to get is, um, 
df is equal to f d n, which is f f d theta, putting the value of d n over there. We have only known d n in this equation 1, tha, right? And also put the value of that f, um, f uh, m r square omega square. This is basically uh, the... Um, yes. So what we will have is... Okay, uh, df or d theta ko aap agar is taraf le aayin to that will become df over d theta minus ff minus equal to minus fm r square omega square. Now, df over d theta minus ff is equal to minus fm r square omega square. Now, this is um, um, a differential equation. And the solution of this differential equation, uh, when you want to find out the solution of this differential equation, uh, it is going to be a exponent of f theta. Uh, <clears throat> what did we do? Uh, integrate. Integrate. Uh, plus m r square omega square. So, uh, if we recall... So what did we have? If this is the pulley, right? On this side, we had F1. On this side, we had F2. So, and we took a very small theta, but this was rather the larger theta, which, which we took B theta. On this side, when theta is equal to zero over here, what is your force equal to then? It is equal to F2. So at, at theta equal to 0, your F is F2. So put this value in, in this equation and you will get a the value of A equal to F2 minus M R square omega square. Similarly, at this we call alpha or phi, right? So um when your f a, when theta is equal to phi your value of force kya hai? that is the value of this force is equal to f1 okay when you go all the way around okay um at any theta when theta is equal to 0, your f is f2. When theta is equal to phi, if this is your phi, then your f is equal to f1. So, <clears throat> putting the value of uh, um, uh, of these in the, uh, putting basically these boundary conditions, you can say that f1 is equal to f2. Okay. Um, yeah, this one, uh, F2 M R square omega square exponent of F5 plus M R square omega square. Um, or we can write this equation in this form. Okay, F1 minus M R square omega square or F2 M R square omega square, which is equal to F1 minus Fc uh, over F2 minus Fc exponent of F5. Right, and we already know that our FC is the centrifugal force that is m r square omega square ke hoga. You can find basically f one minus f two, which is equal to f one minus f c, exponent of f five minus one over exponent of f five. Now, uh, agar centrifugal uh, force ki waja say you want to find out the tension which is fc so we already know ke wo fc kisi se, that is mv square ke barabar hota hai. and mv square uh, your m is w over g where this is weight of the belt right divided by g and your v square by 60 just to keep the units consistent so that will be your value of uh, FC. So your FC is W by G, uh, V square over 60. Yeah, you remember this. And what is W? 
And W is basically the <coughs> the pound force per foot, which is the density. अगर आप weight मालूम करना चाहते हैं, तो you will have density, right? On gamma for the belt times the width of the belt times the thickness of the belt. तो ये volume दे देगा. And since you have the weight of weight of belt पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम है आपके पास तो इस इसको अगर आप मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे इसके साथ तो यू विल गेट यू नो द द द वेट ऑफ द ऑफ द बेल्ट राइट यू कैन आल्सो फाइंड द वेलोसिटी वेलोसिटी आपके पास किस चीज के बराबर होगी इफ यू नो द डायमीटर ऑफ द पुली देन इट इज पाई डी एन वेयर एन इज द रिवॉल्यूशंस आरपीएम राइट डिवाइडेड बाय 12 तो आपको वेलोसिटी भी मालूम हो गई तो नाउ यू कैन फाइंड योर एफ सी विच विच इज डब्ल्यू ओवर जी टाइम्स वी स्क्वेयर ओवर सिक्सटी यू ऑलरेडी नो वट जी इज टू पॉइंट टू ठीक है जी नाउ लुकिंग ओवर हियर टू दिस फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम दिस इज द पुली वेयर ऑन वन साइड वी हैव द टाइट साइड एंड ऑन द अदर साइड वी हैव द लूज साइड नाउ वट इज दिस tight side force ya tension made up of dekhen f1 is basically made up of different components those components are that when you put a belt around two pulleys you don't just put them it loose when you put it you have some tension in there and that tension is known as the pre tension or the initial tension theek hai ji to us initial tension ko let's call that fi so <clears throat> since you put that on both sides therefore you will have fi on that side similarly on the loose side you will also have fi plus you have fc which is the uh, due to centrifugal force and that same will be over here due to centrifugal force right now then there is another component and that is plus delta f by 2 on this side okay since the <coughs> the, the the on one side it is the, the the tension is f1 and on the other side the tension is f2 So if I take F1 minus F2, it is going to be, you know, since the the forces are different from each other, therefore there is going to be another delta F by 2 on this side, but that is going to be negative because uh, because um, the the tension on one side is more than the tension on the other side, and in turn, if we look at this, this will be Fi plus Fc plus T by D. Now, what is T by D? T is the torque, and D is the diameter. Okay? Yeah, the the arm for the diameter. Yeah, the diameter of the pulley. Okay? The the arm for the uh, the force that you apply. So, here, pe, if I take these two equations, they can. Uh, let's let's um, let's uh, say F one. माइनस एफ टू हम करते हैं राइट सो इफ आई डू एफ वन माइनस एफ टू आई हैव एफ आई प्लस एफ सी प्लस डेल्टा एफ ओवर टू राइट विच इज एफ वन एंड देन आई हैव एफ टू इक्वल टू एफ आई प्लस एफ सी माइनस डेल्टा एफ बाय टू Right. So if I'm subtracting f, you know, f two from f one, this will be plus. So what will be the resultant? This will cancel with this one. This one will cancel with this one, and I'll have two delta f by two. That's how it will go, right? Or I'll have f one plus f two. Equal to delta f. Here we go. F one minus f. F one minus.
let me write it again so i'll have f1 minus f2 equal to delta f okay ji we already recognize this dekhen what is delta f this is the difference uh, between the two the, the forces of the two sides now let's take this uh, is ki jagah i'll write uh, t by d and i'll have minus t by d over here right so if i add these up what will i have 2 t by d ho jayega so i'll have f1 minus f2 equal to 2t by d right can i write it like this ke t is equal to f1 minus f2 f1 minus f2 multiplied by d over 2 right acha ji does this make sense does this make sense yes sir dekhiye what is this f1 minus two isn't this force delta f multiplied by what what is d by 2 is it this the radius moment arm moment arm moment so, arm and that is equal to torque so basically aapke paas the the power transmission in in the round belts or in the flat belts we are talking about the round belts or the flat belts that is the power transmission is power transmission is due to the difference of tension between the loose and the tight side so aapke paas agar f1 or f2 if they become the same then what will happen what will happen dekhiye agar f1 f2 ke barabar ho jaye to what will happen this will become zero ka na zero ke na So, zero. what will be the torque transmitted? Zero. No, zero. Torque, no torque will be transmitted. Okay, sir. Acha. Now, also, let's see. Let's take the sum of these two equations. The sum of the equations will be F one is equal to F i plus F c plus delta F by two. <coughs> या डेल्टा टी बल्कि टी बाई डी ठीक है जी टी बाई डी एफ टू इज इक्वल टू एफ आई प्लस एफ सी माइनस टी बाई डी राइट सो इफ आई सम दीज टू आई हैव एफ वन प्लस एफ टू इक्वल टू टू एफ आई प्लस टू एफ सी Uh, and these are going to cancel with each other theek hai ji to ye mere paas aa jayega can i find fi from here fi will be equal to what f1 plus f2 divided by 2 minus fc so that this is the initial tension that we will have this is the initial tension that we will have theek hai ji um you can go ahead dekhen uh, uh, just looking over here you can go ahead and um you know take these uh, the, this uh, fi and um <clears throat> put the value of uh, f1 uh, any fi in here uh, divide it over by t by d so what you will result in is ki aapka fi jo hai that fi will be equal to t over d exponent of fi over um, exponent of fi plus 1 and exponent of fi minus 1 this is the equation for your dekhiye if you know the coefficient of friction and if you know your phi what is the angle of wrap Uh, the torque and the diameter of the pulley you can calculate your fi which is the initial tension that you should have theek hai ji 
Similarly, uh, you can go ahead and find F1. Uh, what will be the value of F1? Uh, F1 uh, is equal to Fi, Fc, and T by D. Put the value of uh, this um, uh, T by D in here, uh, your Fi in here, and you will be able to find out your F1. You can find your F2, the value of F2 which is the tension on the loose side, right? So these are going to be, okay, what did we do over here is, uh, I'm sure that, uh, you know, uh, you, you will go through this, like, what did we do? We found FC, we found FI, we found F1 and F2. Now these are all the tensions or all the forces that we have in uh, when we are using belts, right? So we have equations for these, and now we can calculate these. Um, what I'm going to do is, achha, now they can, as I said that only and only force uh, you have uh, tension F1 and you have tension F2 and whatever is transmitted yeah whatever torque is transmitted it is or whatever horsepower is transmitted it is due to the difference between these two so you can find out the horsepower transmitted when you are uh, f1 and f2 are given and uh, the velocity is given so this is the equation for your transmitted horsepower or matlab, standards ki baat karte hain. Uh, <clears throat> what we have here is uh, that one is your design right and then for that design there is some thing some of the things uh, are with the manufacturer that the manufacturer would give you if you remember when we were talking about um, the flat belts, what did we say? That it has a cross-sectional area. T, A, T is the thickness of the belt and B is the width of the belt. So these are the parameters that the manufacturer will provide you. Now the manufacturer will also provide you with information about the material of the belt. The, there are different materials and he will also the, the the manufacturer will also give you that what is the maximum tension that the belt material can withstand so in a way Someone tell me what is the where is the maximum tension that we have? Our pass belt drive me. Where is the maximum tension? Sir, buyer wali side pe. Buyer wali side, kaun si hai? Sir, upper wali. Okay. Can we say upper wali? Nahin. It is the tight side. Loose side pe tension kam hoti hai na? or tight side pe tension zyada hogi that is f1 ke nahi am i right yes sir okay yes. so basically when the, the manufacturer give you this value he is pointing out to f1 okay this is the maximum value that the belt can take lekin wo jab ye value aapko deta hai na so he gives you this value per unit width. Aapko deta hai. Kya deta hai? He gives you the maximum tension that the belt can withstand per unit width. So this means that if I want F1, which will be in design, mein F1 hoga, I will multiply the manufacturer's F1 by the width of the belt. Jo width mein karta hon. Whatever width I take, I will multiply 
the 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 this b by the one that manufacturer provided so it will give me the allowable allowable tension in that belt theek hai ji lekin there is another catch and that catch is ke jab manufacturer aapko ye value deta hai na to he uses a certain angle of wrap ठीक है जी ही डजेंट यू नो ही डजेंट ही डजेंट हैव यूअर सिस्टम टू एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन तो वो एक खास फाइ इस्तेमाल करता है बल्कि वो फाइ जो है वो 180 डिग्री इस्तेमाल करता है लेट्स से व्हिच इज नॉट अकॉर्डिंग टू यूअर द एप्लीकेशन दैट यू आर यूजिंग ठीक है जी सिमिलरली देयर इज आल्सो अनदर फैक्टर और वो ये है कि पुली में आपके पास फ्लेक्सिंग होती है राइट हुई ही डजेंट एंड एंड द स्पीड ही डजेंट ही डज दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट एट सर्टेन स्पीड्स व्हिच आर नॉट एग्जैक्टली इक्वल टू जो आपके एप्लीकेशन में है सो व्हाट डू वी नीड टू डू वी नीड टू करेक्ट वी नीड टू करेक्ट द वैल्यू दैट द मैन्युफैक्चरर हैज गिवन अस सो हाउ वी आर वी गोइंग टू डू दैट कि हम इस F1 A जो है ना ये हम कैसे मालूम करेंगे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल मल्टीप्लाई दिस बाय B देन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय अनदर फैक्टर व्हिच विल कवर फॉर द स्पीड दैट इज CV एंड दिस CV इज नोन एज वेलोसिटी फैक्टर एंड देन वी विल आल्सो करेक्ट द इट विद CP व्हिच इज द पुली करेक्शन फैक्टर तो इससे हमारे पास जो है क्या आ जाएगा इससे हमारे पास अलावेबल एफ आ जाएगा अलावेबल करेक्टेड अलावेबल टेंशन आ जाएगा ठीक है तो आप इफ यू लुक डाउन तो ये वही इक्वेशन है कि एफ वन ए इज इक्वल टू बी टाइम्स एफ ए विच इज गिवन अलावेबल जो टेन जो मैन्युफैक्चरर ने हमें दिया है दैट इज एफ ए मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सी पी मल्टीप्लाइड बाई सी वी and the values of cp and cv are given to you in different tables yeah, they are provided by the manufacturer theek hai ji um if we go further down so uh, these are the C cvs that you can find out theek hai ji from the belt velocity you can find out the cv from 17-9 pulley correction factor for cp you have this table theek hai ji there are different uh, materials for belts for example leather polyamide urethane so on um, and you can find out you know cv for that acha now i'm just going to go through these steps ke how are you going to actually design um um uh, a flat belt ball you will find the exponent of f5 because it is used everywhere so whatever is your angle of wrap theek hai ji and multiply that with the coefficient of friction and uh, and take exponent of that so you will have uh, the um <clears throat> this value readily available now from the belt geometry find fc you know what fc is equal to can someone tell fc is equal to what w over g v square by 60 60 so just find this out right you can also find this v that is equal to pi d n divided by 12 theek hai ji so you can find that too acha from this equation t is equal to 63 or to 5 h nominal k s n d over n acha ek aur baat hum karte hain dekhiye <clears throat> we are talking about transmission of power there are different power jo hai we get that in different forms forms mean well i am not talking about the energies but we have different terms for them if you desire to uh, let's say a customer comes to you and he says that i want to transmit 6 horsepower right what will you call this 6 horsepower 
इसको हम कहते हैं एच नॉमिनल इट इज जस्ट नॉमिनल इट इज जस्ट स्पीकिंग दैट ही वांट्स टू ट्रांसमिट सिक्स हॉर्स पावर बट वट डू वी डू विद दिस के इसको हम जब डिजाइन कर देना एज अ डिजाइनर यू वुड एनहेंस दिस एंड वी विल कॉल दैट डिजाइन हॉर्स पावर तो वी फाइंड एच डी एंड दिस एच डी इज इक्वल टू के एस एंड डी एच नॉमिनल ठीक है जी वट इज के एस दिस इज सर्विस फैक्टर यू ऑलरेडी नो दिस ठीक है जी सर्विस फैक्टर Service factor is such that what is how is the use? Is it tough use? It is rough use. Uh, what are the conditions in there? On the basis of that, you select this K S, which is the service factor. N D is the design factor, and you already know what design factor is. We already took this one point two springs and and so on, but it should be more than one. And H nominal is that horsepower. So even if you put this like one one point one. This h norm uh, h design will be greater than h nominal. Okay, it might be equal to if you take both k s and n d one one, then it might be equal to h nominal. But your design horsepower should be more than your uh, nominal horsepower. Okay, so that is why. If you look here, so this uh, this is basically design horsepower. Okay, so this is our h d. तो एच डी ओवर एन एंड फाइंड द नेसेसरी टॉर्क ठीक है जी वी विल फाइंड आउट द टॉर्क फ्रॉम द टॉर्क टी फाइंड आउट एफ वन ए माइनस एफ टू व्हिच इज इक्वल टू टू टी डी टी टू टी ओवर डी एंड देन यूज यू नो टेबल्स सेवनटीन डैश टू सेवनटीन डैश फोर एंड इक्वेशन सेवनटीन डैश वन टू टू डिटर्मिन एफ वन A. We already talked about seventeen dash one two. Now let's uh, see. We we will go to these tables. But from this, okay, we know the difference of these two, and we also have this one. So this minus this, they, they, they will cancel out. But since we have this term, so we will be able to find out F two from here. So we will find F two, and then from equation I, find your F I initial tension, necessary initial tension. if you want to find out the necessary initial tension also check the friction development f uh, f dash that should be greater uh, this should be less than f theek hai ji now we will go to this dekhiye there are two things over here let's first go to the table so looking at this table these are the properties for flat and round belts theek hai ji flat and round belts material so leather polyamide urethane and so on now specifications there is one ply two ply these are layers then the sizes are given to you in terms of thicknesses Uh, in polymer you have f0 c f1 c f2 and so on these are the specifications and they are different theek hai yahan pe w is given to you theek hai acha the size in which these are available in standard sizes the minimum pulley diameter the pulley is that you would use this should be the minimum diameter of that it can be more than this but this is the minimum theek hai similarly allowable tension that is what we were talking about fa but you have to correct this you have to multiply this by b and then cp and cv theek hai ji so this will become your f1 a f1 allowable now specific weight which is the w that is given to you and this is the coefficient of friction the coefficient of friction f dekhe this is the coefficient of friction given for this material now if you are going to use this belt this is the maximum you know with with using this the the maximum friction that is going to be developed it is not going to exceed this value of coefficient of friction so what do we want to do if you go back to the this hum kya keh rahe check friction development so you will find out this f dash and this f dash will be calculated from equation 17 dash 
you will find out the value. Let's say, for example, the value of this is 0 0.4. And you go to the table and look in the specific table that this value for the friction develop, the, 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 this is the actual friction developed, but if you go to the table, and if that value is 0 0.3, you are good. This should be less than the value uh, uh, the, uh, the, 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 tab, the table has. So if in the table, this value is 0 0.3, this means that it is not going to work because actually you, want, you are saying that uh, 0.4 uh, is the coefficient of friction for the development of that friction. So that is not going to work. It should be less than what value you have in the table. For example, if the value of the in the table is 0 0.8 and from this equation you get 0 0.7, then you are very good, right? But if you get 0 0.9, then this is not going to work. That is why you want to find out you know, what is F dash. Then find out the factor of safety NFS, which is equal to HA over H nominal KS. Basically, H design is equal to H allowable. Or H design is equal KS and D H nominal. So you want to find out the ND. And so ND is equal to H allowable divided by divided by. K S H nominal. ठीक 